All right, so we're gonna make this short and sweet. This is by far one of my favorite gaming PC builds that you can have in 2024. The $700 PC that everyone and their mother should have. So if this is your first gaming PC and $700 is your budget, you are going to have a tough time beating this PC build. So hey, if you'd like to be able to press that like button, that really helps me out a ton. And check out the links in the description for this PC part. The CPU, we're looking at the Ryzen 5 5600. Now this CPU goes for around $130 a 6 cores 12 threaded CPU and by far one of the best value for money CPUs that you can get right now. You can hook this CPU up with a GPU as far as something like an RTX 3 So this gives you an idea of that you're not gonna get any bottleneck and the GPU that we have is on the leading edge when it comes to the performance or how close you are gonna get from the bottleneck territory. So yeah, it really complements our GPU. 6 cores 12 threaded CPU with a really strong IPC uh, this CPU is here to stay for 2024, even though it's AM4, and it got the upgrade path to the 5800X 3D. As for the board, we're looking at a Gigabyte B550M-K. Now we're looking at B550M because this is a really good uh, board. It's got the upgrade path to a 5800X 3D, no problem. You're not going to have any drawbacks in terms of performance. It gets the job done. It's got two RAM slots, I think so. Uh, this is one of the caveats, but yeah, it's okay. Since we are only going with 32 GB of DDR4 RAM, and yeah there isn't anything going on wrong with this board you know just gets the job done it's for under around 70 to 80 dollars the ram we're looking at two 16 gigs the ddr4 3200 megahertz ram for around 55 bucks i think for any budget pc 32 gigs seems to be the way to go right now given how cheap ram is and yeah 32 gigs will really help you out if you're doing anything other than gaming and the ssd we're looking at one terabyte m.2 ssd now ssd prices have gone up that's why we're looking at an ssd pcie gem 4 uh this board supports gem 4 ssd no problem this one goes for around 50 dollars and since we are up in price why not go with an ssd without breaking the budget that's really fast and it's got plenty of space now this is where it shines the gpu we're looking at an arc 6700 xt you can get the dell version which goes for around 250 to 260 dollars on amazon even and yeah you're gonna have decent cooling or you can get the brand new one that goes for 300 dollars now the arc 6700 xt is my favorite gpu of 2023 and will be my favorite gpu of 2024 for 300 dollars you're getting an rtx 3070 type performance you are getting really great performance when it comes to 1080p or even 1440p you're gonna have a decent uh, beginner level ray tracing performance not the best of course and yeah 12 gigabytes of vram and one of the best value for money gpus by far you cannot actually beat this gpu when it comes to performance uh with anything in terms of value for money if you decided to get it for 250 dollars that means that you are having uh to pay less for that much performance so the 6700 xt really sells itself when it comes to the performance that you're getting and i just love it i love this uh, gpu uh, the case i uh, really leave that to you you can go the antec nx 200m this is one of my favorite cases right now you can go with the NZXC H5 RGB Elite, also gets the job done on H5 Flow RGB, it depends on really what you want to go with. And the power supply, you can go with the APVS 600 watt or the Thermaltake 600 watt AU Plus gold radio power supplies. And keep in mind that this uh, PC doesn't consume over like 300 to 350 watts. And you are having a great upgrade path even though. So yeah, that's been it. If you like it, press on the like button. If you're interested in that, you can subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.